this is 42 percent hey everybody this is 42 percent health um welcome back to scythe welcome to my first video with live commentary we are about to start level 27 terror quite frankly i hate this level and you'll see why There's two cacos in there that have to go. Sometimes they come out through this window. Oh, they're both there. One. Two. All right, now, as soon as you grab this stuff, there's two revenants down there. It will come up the stairs for you. I'm going to grab the Berserk now because it's probably going to be a while before I need it for the health. Where'd that Baron go? Oh. He came up the stairs when I went down the ledge. Now if I'm pistol starting, the first thing I do is I actually skip all these enemies and I'll jump down there through that window because the super shotgun's in there. One. So it's been a while since I've uploaded just because I'm having trouble with this new headset. Yes, infighting. I've been having trouble getting this headset working. I see they'll come around. There we go. All right, here's the cheapest trick in the world. If you stand right here, you can hit him, but he can't hit you. There's three mancubi up here. I love the noises they make. They're so gross. Oh, that was probably, that was a wasted rocket. Not a huge deal. Ammo is a little snug on this map, though. All right, dead. Next thing it has to go is pain elemental. Nobody likes those guys. Maybe someday I'll make a doom map called so, I heard you like pain elementals. Because <laughs> I've never heard of anyone who likes them. Yeah, I'm kind of burning through a lot of shotgun ammo. Oh, there's the other pain elemental. I'm going to take him. All right. Now, sometimes there's a couple barons left over here. Nope, not this time. Now, here's the reason I don't like this level. Seems like every line def opens up a trap full of monsters someplace. Ooh. So basically, the idea of the level is you have to come back and forth through these hallways several times. And every time you come through, there's more stuff open. So much easier if you don't have to pistol start. Because... What? 
so much easier if you don't have a pistol start because you don't get a BFD until very late, until right at the end of the map, which you really need it then because they kind of do a, the map does a really troll move at the end, which I'll show you later. Ow, ow. Stop it. All right, what I do here, I equip the rocket launcher, come up, back down. Pretty much everything will start to gather around the mancubus, and then you, it'll all die to the rockets. Um, there's a second secret right here. Whoa, I'm trying to change to my fist, buddy. Chill. All right, this part's pretty tough, too, because... There's two arch vials in this room. Nice. Oh, I can take that. I can take that. I'll probably take that. As soon as you grab this for Hell Knight spawn in. I'm also thinking if I get to a point where I can reliably record sound I will, um, oops, forgot about them. I'm thinking about doing a tutorial video on how to use the BFG. Because I, ugh, dang you. I do see a lot of, uh, yes. I do see a lot of, uh, people who are new at Doom using it incorrectly. And it is not intuitive how to use it, but it is, it is also tricky how to use it. So, I'm not, I don't blame him in the least, but uh, it does really help to play some of these hard wads if you know how to get the best usage out of it, so. Alright, so there's an art, there's an arch vial and two hell knights in that little room. I'm going to leave this guy out here because I don't want the arch vial resurrecting him. And I will use a BFD blast to kill them. Oh, you didn't die. Okay, so in here, I run down, touch the blood, and then leave. Change the rockets. You can get punched. Punching demons is so much fun. It's a ball. All right. Yeah, now these guys, last couple recording attempts, they were all, they were not all gathered at the door. So that's why I did not have my BFT out ready for them that time. So I'm almost getting used to them acting abnormally. Come on, die. I want to punch out your brother. All right, brother. Ow. Okay, I got my timing really bad there. But that's okay. There's plenty of soul spheres. I'm skipping a bunch of them. Uh, I can take that. There's four chain gunners through these windows. Make sure they all die. That's all of them. Take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. And I'll leave that. And I'll leave that. Okay, there's an arch vial in there, and there's three chain gunners across the way. This arch vial I deal with with a shotgun just because there's not much around for him to resurrect, so... It's okay to do it the slow way that time. All right, three revenants this way. Come on, aim down. That wasn't so good. So here's where you get the BFG. It's right back there. These monsters can't get out of there, so it's okay to use a shotgun on them. 
course, go for the arch vial first. A lot of times it can be difficult because he's hiding behind these guys. And we can punch this guy the rest of the way. All right. Now this part's very hard. I'm going to save here. Quick save. Didn't hit the quick save button. Huh. Anyway. I'm going to save right here. Because there's an arch vial there. There's a megasphere around the corner that can only be reached by an arch vial jump. So it is barely possible to get it that way. It's kind of like a key bump. I can take one more arch vial blast and that's it. So the easier way is to... Oh, okay. Game over. The easier way is to uh, lure him over here because the ground's a little higher. And that actually lets you get to the top of that pedestal. Oh, just like that. Only usually you go over it if you time it better than I did. Who would have thought that 16 pixels or however high that is would have made that much difference? Okay, here's the troll move. As soon as you come up this top step, you will be teleported on top of that invisibility. As soon as we move, we will become invisible, and there will be three cyber demons here. So we're just going to leave. Quick. Ow! Ow. We are now sitting on top of that cell ammo. We have to fight this guy invisible. I should have saved. I will save now, even though it's a bad idea. And we're going to fight this guy invisible. Ooh! Ugh! Dang, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. It's not going to be tough. It already is tough. Ah! Your other option is to let the inv invisibility wear off before you even try fighting the guy. Okay, done. I'm taking this. The exit is already open, but I'm a religious UV max guy. I cannot leave a demon alive to torment the earth. So I've got to got to kill them all. Actually, I never play Pokemon, so I'm going to sit here and wait for the invisibility to wear off because I'm a chicken, which means that we get to spend some quality LP or viewer time together, burying our souls, you know, just some quality time as friends. All right, time's up. Yo, oh, that was not good. Okay, I picked up a soul sphere. Nice. Okay. Everybody is dead in this map. And I just pray that my recording came out good enough to post on YouTube. I'm going to grab one more soul sphere. Oh, and ammo. Soul sphere. Ammo. More ammo. Let's fill up on everything. Ammo, soul sphere. I think there's no more ammo in here. Uh, there's no ammo up top, is there? There's that, but yeah, I don't need shells. I need rockets, which I think there are no more. Let me check this room real quick. Oh, there's rockets. All right, we will leave. I have no idea how many recording attempts I've done. It's been a lot. I've not been counting, though. So I just hope that the sound came out good. It's this new headset. I'm having some trouble getting it working and balanced and recording and everything. Our next map is Run From It, which, if you can believe it, is even worse than this one. 
If you've played Scythe before, you know why. So I'm going to save here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.